welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We are over 700 subscribers now. What? That is amazing. So this is, I think, my fourth month YouTubing. So I, I couldn't thank everyone enough. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Um, Billy gave me a pretty big shout out the other day and that has helped tremendously. So again, thank you so much to Billy Mutation Creations and his whole entire crew. Um, he actually posted the same exact video I did the next day. Pretty sure he stole my idea. Oh, I'm just kidding. He totally didn't. But believe it or not, that boring video actually helped a lot of people. I had five people message me instantly thanking me for that video. I had a local guy call me. Um, you know, and it made me feel really good that a video I done actually made a difference and someone actually watched it. So, um, just don't take after my taping skills. They were pretty terrible. Uh, but anyway, so today I am actually going to talk about in my video briefly, um, about a topic that Billy is hardcore set in stone that he does every single clutch and that's cutting the eggs. Yes. So I went there. I particularly do not cut all my clutches. I have cut clutches. I was taught how to cut. Um, it was an option out there for me. But here's the difference between telling somebody, no, you should never do it, and then if they want to do it and they screw up their eggs, that's one thing. But having someone actually show you how to do it if you ever to, de to decide to do it is another thing. And so that's what I've done in this video. I have two young helpers, 14 and 12, that help me out in my snake room a couple of times a month. And they are breeding their own snakes now and they have some pretty high-end projects. So Hunter and Lily came down um, a couple weeks ago and was wanting to help me do some cleaning in the animal room, which is very much appreciated. Uh, there's a lot to be done here, especially with all the hatchlings, toddlers, and a full-time job so it is definitely a lot um but they came and i so happened to have some eggs that were due uh two days before they were coming and i was watching them the eggs were really sinking in uh getting ready to start pipping and i know my incubator they go 59 days and then they'll start to pip so these were at day 58 and hunter and lily were here and so I thought it was a very, the, the perfect opportunity for them to cut their first clutch of eggs. So here's the thing. I don't necessarily support cutting every single clutch. I don't cut every single clutch. Um, and I don't fully believe that only the strong survive and all that jazz. I, I believe giving everything a fair chance, just like in human life. We... You know, we perform C-sections. We do, we do stuff to help moms out. Yeah, this is a little different, but this is something I do just for fun. So no money, I'm not money hungry. I'm not trying to sell them straight out of the egg. I won't even take deposits until they've had four meals. Um, nothing I'm interested about. But the importance of this to me was teaching Hunter and Lily the correct way to cut eggs. They have three clutches of eggs in their own incubator right now. If they just try to learn on their own, who knows what could happen. Um, not saying that they won't be able to watch someone's video and be able to do it, but it made me feel a lot better knowing that I was there to kind of walk them through. Same thing, five years ago, somebody walked me through it. I remember going to Charlie and Brittany's house in Manchester. They texted me like, hey, we have eggs due. I fly down there. I was so excited to get to cut eggs. I was so excited to watch Charlie gets to cut eggs and it's not something everyone does and it's not something I do every clutch but it's something that I want to be able to teach someone the correct way to do it and again this is not the correct way at all like there's no other way it's the way I do it and the way I do it safely so Hunter and Lily did a fantastic job um, they were super nervous. The kids were here, so it was kind of loud. So I just, I'm just going to put some clips in of them being able to cut their own eggs. And I'm going to show you what's hatched out of those. Okay? So, let's take a look. Alright, go for it. I'm just going to pick it up and just squeeze it. Make sure you're not touching the top. I'll cut right here. I'm not 
good at this. <laughs> this is why I'm not gonna become a doctor. <laughs> All right, so once you get a flap up, if you want to just uh, readjust so you don't get all gooey, you just kind of cut up from that flap. Right, that? Mm-hmm. Just lift up so you know you're not getting the snake. Okay, so out of five eggs, you pick two and you pick two. Okay. okay. I pick these two. Okay. All right, let's go.
legs. Don't do it. I'm not in the mood. I said I'm not in the mood. So get her tip of her tail right here. Where is it? Right here. It's wrapped around this egg. Oh, well, Maybe your face. Go right there with it. If you can get that tip of the tail with the hook. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There you go. Like so. Good. Okay, so the pairing to this was a Sterling to a Bumblebee Calico Possible Yellow Belly. Um, so one of the snakes that... I'm not entirely too sure what this is other than a pastel spider. I haven't really fully ID'd these either, but just to give you an idea, so there was... Gosh, I think five eggs. Yeah, there were five eggs in this clutch that Hunter and Lily cut. So how we did it is I let them choose each two eggs and then we saved one to pit. So these were the ones that Hunter cut. Alive, healthy, nice, nice fat babies. No... Umbilical cord still attached. Their bellies feel great. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. These are like three days out of the egg by now. And this is the one that Lily cut. Again. Nice fat animal. Zero umbilical cord. Nice and soft. Perfect. And this is actually the, the one that pipped on its own. So it looks like the same exact animal as the one I just showed you. Again, no umbilical cord, nice and soft, plumped, looks identical. So can you tell me which one was cut and which one wasn't cut? No, you can't. Do I say cut every animal? No. Is it gonna hurt anything? No. Just do it correctly, and that's what I wanted to show Hunter and Lily. So this animal, this is the only pattern on this animal. It's right here on the neck. Other than that, it's got slight, slight colors on the side. But at first, I thought I hit a blue at Lucy, and I'm like, how in the world is my sterling? Are you okay, Cass? How in the world is my sterling yellow belly? Again, a nice fat animal, zero umbilical cord showing, nice soft belly, nothing wrong with it. So looking in this box, you literally cannot tell what animal has been cut, what animal has not. And real quick, just to show you a quick update of the little Paradox baby. Growing nice and big. This thing is just wild. Look at that head. Just perfect. And again, this is not like a genetically strong animal, but I would not, you know, I'm, I'm kind of firm on keeping her, keeping him, sorry, it's him. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this snake. Okay, so as far as cutting eggs and not cutting the eggs, I'm a firm believer they're your animals. Do what you wanna do. I mean, it's not, it's, it's your animals. Do what you wanna do. But my whole purpose of doing it was um, to make sure Hunter and Lily know and they're comfortable in cutting their own eggs. The last thing I want them to do is, is to try to do this at home 
and not feel confident, not feel comfortable. Like I want them to be able to ask questions. Um, I want to be there for them just like Tom has been there for me. So that's, that's just the big thing for me. And you can see these babies are thriving. Um, they actually just cut another clutch. Let me get those out and you can see those. Like totally fine, healthy babies, fresh out of the egg box, zero umbilical cord. You can see, come out of the egg just fine, cut egg just fine, cut egg just fine. So as long as you do it correctly, it's going to be okay. The key is doing it correctly. And that's what I wanted to make sure I taught Hunter and Lily. So I taught them the way I was taught. It's been working for me for five years when I do decide to cut. It's not. Okay, so for all of you guys that do not believe in egg cutting, sorry. Um, please understand the reason why I did this video is because nowadays if someone's not taught, they'll try to do it themselves. And who knows where that could end up. Um, you, there's some very bad videos on YouTube about egg cutting. Some very bad ones. I'm not um, a, a retic breeder that yanks them out of the egg. That's, that's not me. I do not believe in that. Um, cutting a small hole if need to be, that's, that's one thing. But yanking them out of the egg, that's not going to be me. Um, so I really wanted to teach Hunter and Lily the way I cut eggs. The way I know works. The way that's worked for me for five years when I've done it. Um, I don't cut every single clutch. Will I cut Sally's eggs at day 56? Probably. Um, that's a very special clutch to me and I don't care if I had to force feed um, or assist feed one of those snakes for the rest of my life. Um, I'm going to do what I have to do. Those eggs mean a lot to me. So Sally is my girl and so be it. You know, I don't, I don't plan to sell hardly any of those, if any of them anyways, uh, and that's my choice. They're my eggs, they're my choice. Um, and you can see these babies are thriving. They're thriving just fine. So I feel like this should be a positive that I'm using my knowledge that I've learned from others to teach others. Um, I didn't tell them, hey, cut every single clutch. You should cut your clutches. I said, if you ever to decide that you want to take the cutting route. Everyone's gotten excited over their first clutch of eggs. And I'm pretty sure almost all of us have died to, to want to know what's in an egg. That's just part of it. That's the excitement of the hobby. If you don't get excited over something you're, ha or you're hatching, this is not the hobby for you. Um, and I know they're going to feel that. They're young. They're super excited. They're on fire for this hobby. And the last thing I want them to do is get a negative feel for it and accidentally cut a snake or you know cut too much of it you just never know what's going to happen so i feel better knowing that i've taught them the way i know the way that works for me and hopes that they have a successful first breeding gear so thank you guys so much make sure you're liking comment subscribing um sharing not really that cool of a video but it is very special to me i'm able to pass something i've learned off to somebody else that you know is, is excited to learn so thank you guys so much and uh keep up with the support thank you guys